over to Elizabeth. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, a recent survey showed that 80% of Californians keep first aid kits, flashlights, and batteries just in case of an earthquake. But few people actually prepare their homes for an earthquake. And joining us now is Michael Esfrig, an earthquake preparedness expert. Obviously, the earthquake in Japan is a good reminder for us to get prepared. What are some things we can do? Well, uh, besides the earthquake kits that you see the backpacks and the food bars and the toilet actually filled with earthquake supplies. Okay, so it, this is this is a toilet, just in case. It you know, is a toilet. That's right. And then right we just fill it and easy for you to take away from the house if you need to get out of the house for any reason. Mm -hmm. So it's filled with earthquake supplies, three-day supply for anywhere from four to ten people. What kinds of things? A radio, battery operated radio? And That's actually a solar hand crank radio okay. put out by the Red Cross and uh, we have the food bars, we have a tarp in here, we have uh, tissue packs and this is a, a wrench to turn the gas and the water off at your house. Uh, batteries and flashlights and just preparedness items. Okay, very good. And what are some other tips? Because I know that a lot of people don't prepare their homes for right. an earthquake and obviously things will tip over if you get a big shaker. Right, well this is our uh, demonstrator mm -hmm. and what you see here is fasteners that uh, will hold your furniture in place. These are okay. the safety proof fasteners and this is also, this is kind of an interesting thing, this is a quake light and what happens is it will alert you when there's an earthquake. So if it starts shaking, the alarm comes on and the light comes on and will get you to light up the place and get you to where you need to go. And it's an amazing thing. This is brand new. It's actually that's a good idea. Yeah, it's just coming out now, and we're the uh, so distributors of it. So despite the uh, you know ground shaking, uh, just a, an audible reminder as well. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now these are the, the safety proof fasteners. Hold uh, printers, microwaves. Right, because uh, if there is a big shaker, all this stuff is going to come tumbling down. That's right. And so these actually, this safety proof fastener goes into the wall like mm -hmm. this, into the stud. You got to make sure you put it in the stud. And then this is a 3M adhesive that will go down onto the furniture and hold it in place. Okay, how easy is it to install then? It's just... Uh, very simple. We, we can show this. We can flip this around okay. if we want and show that you just have to make sure that you hit the studs in the wall. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you got to make sure the studs are 16 inches apart and make sure that the screw that you're putting in goes into the stud. Okay. And that's just as easy as that. And then when you want to take it off for any reason, you just slide the top right over and you can take it off for cleaning or whatever you need to, if right. you need to move it. It's really easy to put right back on by sliding it back and you're connected. Okay, good ideas and also this is a good idea because I know when my kids were born I had um, earthquake uh, fasteners put on my furniture because mm -hmm. a child can We've heard of the reports of a child reaching for a book exactly. and the bookshelf dumping out on right. top of Right, so anti-tip Fast, right. We call them anti-tip fasteners as well. And How expensive are these to get? Uh, these are like ten dollars, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get them on our, you know, from our store, our website store. Okay. Okay. And then what about some other tips? Because if you you are the inventor of uh, the cottage quake, I understand. Right. The quake cottage. Right, which is an earthquake simulator, right. and you, you, I mean, obviously things can really get shaken up, and if a big tremor hits. So right. what are some other tips? You, you know, you're prepared with your with your uh, quake survival right. kit and and some of these fasteners for furniture. But what are some other things that people may not be thinking about? Well, water. They have to have water, and that could be huge because if the water line breaks. In, in the city, you may be without water for days, maybe weeks. So maybe these water barrels, the 45, 55 gallon water barrels, store them on the side of your house. Um, lots and lots of food. I right. mean, obviously the food and shelter if you need to go outside because you're afraid to go back in, which could okay. happen, you know, you want to make sure that your shelter and I is think, there. And uh, I think the <laughs> potty is a good idea because that is something that yeah. you don't think about you know, you gotta go, and right. it just won't be available if, in the event of an earthquake. So right. it might not be available, but anyway, great. Thank right. you for joining us okay. today. And for more information, just go to sandiego6.com and click on Hot Topics.